I met the Buddha on the road, and I remembered what they said, but I couldn't kill him, not with him wearing that smile of his. I just stood there, slack-jawed and stared, as he gazed serenely back at me, invited me to sit, with a gesture and a nod, and I obliged him. There we sat, cross-legged across from one another, and gazed curiously into each other's eyes. I wonder what he saw in mine. I know what I saw in his. I saw a boy in a grown man's body, with a grown man's wisdom, refined character, and a jovial spirit, laughing silently, and also crying, and also hugging, and also releasing, and also dancing, and also sitting still, all at the same time. How did he do it? I guess that is the impenetrable mystery. He reached out to me and he held my hand, and he gave it a soft squeeze, gentle yet firm. My shoulders slumped down. I didn't realize that I had them clenched. Something in my chest released. Something in my heart shook loose and came slithering out through my eyes. Air gushed in, and then back out again, and I remembered I'm alive, and I felt myself as the child I once was, and as the man I am becoming, and I cried silently, soft, shuddering sobs, as he held my hand and smiled at me knowingly, and we stayed that way for hours, and then I killed him. And there was only me, only me just sitting there, only me. So I took off all my clothes, and I put on his instead, and I walked on down that road with a steady gait and a knowing smile, and marched readily to meet my fate, and I'm still walking.